Hi friends, it's Shanna, Shop Glorious Day. It is now late in the afternoon, around 5 p.m. on Saturday, and uh, things are supposed to be wrapping up here at Zap Hall, but they're not quite. Um, happy to be able to bring you in to meet Natalie Robinson, Peculiar Sentiments. We actually met at the January show, and um, I'll always remember the uh, special encouragement she gifted me that blessed my heart tremendously and so I was delighted to find her here on this field too and um, well let's just get back and meet her I'll turn the camera real quick so you can get an orientation for where she is on the field um, and we'll go visit with her so there is Zep Hall we visited with uh, most of the friends here uh, hopefully Beth is still around And um, Tony there too. And that's uh, 237 right there in Punky's Place across the street. So if you come in from Punky's Place, look at this, the gated uh, entrance. But we're gonna come around the side here. I love this kind of playful entry into peculiar sentiments. So we're gonna weave our way back to you, Natalie. <laughs> I'm enjoying just the little meander. We'll do a little bit of a sneak peek and catch the sunshine peeking through. Such a beautiful time of day to be visiting and oh, I'm trying not to stop. <laughs> you have so much to share. So Natalie, so happy to be with you. Peculiar sentiments. And I wanna hear all about it. Well, I want them to hear all about it. How your business started, just kind of share us around on all your creations and resourcefulness and all the ideas that you've put into play in a way that people really enjoy. Yeah. Well, I've been doing <laughs> touring since I was a little bitty. Yeah. Um, I think I was five when I got my first box of beads and just loved it. Okay. Um, went to school for interior design later on and yeah. fell in love with leather. Um, and oh. George Sentence was actually birthed um, in the summer of 2012. I started making leather cups. Yeah. Um, Elephant, but I did all vintage pieces and mountain one leather. Yeah. Um, but my kids uh, and I played with vintage jewelry. My name was jewelry growing up. And I loved it. We could dress up with it. We put on all of her earrings, tile on necklaces. And after she passed away, we divided the jewelry among ourselves. Okay. And I took some of it and made cup bracelets for all of the girls in, um, in the family with Hannah's jewelry. Oh. Um, after that, uh, through kind of a succession of events, I started thinking friends here and there, um, but it wasn't until the fall of 2012, um, after suddenly finding myself a single mom, um, and having a heart to be a stay-at-home mom and to homeschool my kiddos, that uh, my mom suggested that I take my top first idea and set up a Okay. So my very first show... Canton, Texas. Canton, Texas. Yep. Um, Okay, uh huh. Um, and getting into this crazy life of unloading and loading trailers. And, <laughs> right. Um, and creating. Yeah. Um, so the, the heart of it is taking cast off broken things and making them beautiful. I love that. So I wonder if we should start with the bracelets. I don't know if you want to peek down at these or go over to the other display or we kind of zoom down a little bit here. Zoom down. Um, so there's all kinds of pieces from 1920s all the way up to the 70s. This one was a 1940s. It has little Ooh, I love kind that. of movable little uh, kind of botanical yeah. piece. Um, we have some other ones. This one, the lion face, was actually a drawer pole. Um, oh, wow. And then show them how the, the bend, the unique bend on them. So I have small wrists and I wanted something that anybody could wear. Yeah. So these have a copper core. Mm -hmm. um, they're backed with suede mm -hmm. and all of the vintage pieces are wired on, mm -hmm. um, but they are completely adjustable. So you can bend them, form them to shape your wrist. Yeah. Um, and they stay on, they're super secure. Yeah, I love that. Very comfortable. And yeah. then if you have a metal allergy, of the metal touches your skin. Right, right. So just a, a few of the other playful designs. I love the idea of, I don't know, just kind of where it all birthed from. Maybe let's just go look at a few more and then we'll kind of tour back around. There's so much to see that I want you to, viewers, to appreciate about how, I don't know, all the ideas you have for taking things, just like you said, and like turning them into 
artful jewelry these and are some like these. favorites um, customers love coming in looking for a specific animal I have a customer every time she comes in she looks for a turtle cuff right look at um, this one some uh, a dear friend of mine she's really big into fishing and she loves the, the different sea creatures um, and I would have loved to have met some of these ladies that actually wore these as pins and brooches because I'm sure. sure they had great stories yeah look at I love this one too all crystally and then maybe let's move over just to see some of the other things that you've taken bits and pieces and turned yes. them into beautiful jewelry so something that's utilitarian can be beautiful. Yeah. Um, so these were 1930s keys, um, and then they're paired with uh, gemstones and semi-precious stones. Moving over here, we have some more just simple yeah. on a leather deerskin strap. Yeah, um, look we at have... tags too, actually. <laughs> Even the tags are so I fun. I wanted it to look kind of like a circus ticket. Yeah. So they actually look, it says I admit one. Them. Yeah. Um, and then has my Instagram and Facebook handle as well. So fun. Um, so you can see just all of the kind of things that other people might think of as miscellaneous, you know, glass doorknobs and keyholes and look. And mine, my necklace is actually, um, what do you call it? A, um, it was a cabinet latch. A latch. Yes. Yeah. A latch that I love. And every time I wear it, everybody's like a jewelry made from a latch. Imagine that. And they're always captivated by it. Similar to this sort of which I, I wear a lot, actually. You may have even seen it in some of the videos, but, um, and look at these, too. Well, and the name, Peculiar Sentiments, is because it is peculiar pieces. Right. And they have a sentimental value. They're yeah. nostalgic, and it's kind of an homage to the past, and yeah. everything has a story. Yeah. Um, and I chose the P.S. because my Nana's favorite song was P.S. I Love You by Frank Sinatra. Oh. So I knew I wanted a word starting with P and a word starting with S. Oh, oh I didn't know that. That's so great. Yeah, it's perfect. Let's look at a little bit of the clothing that's right behind here that I was kind of noticing too. And again, we hand make everything. My little girl and I design all the jewelry. Wow. I hand pick the vintage clothes and upcycle everything. This is our newest thing is vintage curtains and tablecloths upcycled into lacy bells. We have pretty embroidered fabrics and patches, um, just some different styles yeah. and sizes. Uh, and then who would expect these with the, like, um, yeah, from these jackets here? Look how fun. It's like elements of, like, the peculiar and the surprise and the playfulness of, oops. There we go. Something, another thing that I have been known to do. <laughs> and then some have little sayings like, on the back. Uh, most peculiar. That's the one that I usually wear. Yes, um, love that. We have junk carny because you know, being out here, we all are. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, another like the one I'm wearing. These were, oh, uh, camo right. Pants that I split and then made into ballroom skirts. Love them. Really fun. Yeah, that's a great skirt. So these are. Look at these. What a great I idea. Oh, vintage let's look. <gasps> oh, that's so fun. Yeah, I love that. Look how close. Love it. Let's keep strolling. I know there's more to see. Look at this. I hadn't even so, seen this. This is my absolute favorite assemblage. I right. call it the Mr. Darcy. Okay. A, a huge weakness for BBC. Okay. Um, and Pride and Prejudice is one that I go back to. It's my rainy day go-to. Yeah, to. yeah. And so we have a Mr. Darcy. Of course, Darcy himself with the top hat. Yeah. A uh, little tobacco pipe, revolver. Um, just Look how kind of fun. Assemblage of some fun. Look at the little pieces. pocket knife. Yes. That's really neat. Yeah, you can't wear That's them beautiful. The <laughs> Don't, yeah, not advised to wear it through the airport. I'm just peeking at this bag kind of tucked in here too. Yeah. So many things I hadn't noticed. It's so, you know, sometimes you just feel like you want to fly by, but there's so much to take in, but slowing down. Look at this one. It's sensory overload. Really, really pretty. Yeah. Oh, how fun. So some really Ooh, pretty cameos. These are really pretty. Um, yeah. And they make great bridal party gifts, too. We even have a men's line. 
And now, have you ever taken pieces that customers go like, here, can you make one out of this? That's okay. my favorite thing to do because oh. they're so much more meaningful. Yeah. So a lot of times, um, it's usually somebody who's recently passed away. Mm. And, you know, during the dividing of the estate, they find like, trinkets or sure. jewelry or even cabinet latches or hardware. Yeah. Um, and they're all uh, lovingly remade into something wearable. I love that. Because it's true. Otherwise, it's just kind of miscellaneous things sitting aside, but you turn it into something that... Yeah. You know, anyone can wear, and, and it's a shame that's a beautiful thing. Just sit in the drawer and not right. be remembered. Look at this. So. I love these so much. I actually yeah, have, they're so great. Um, not wearing it today. I'm yeah. Really wearing it. I have an assemblage necklace that is all pieces in memory of my daddy. Oh. So I have a guitar pick and a golf tee and a little tiny pocket watch and uh. a little locket and picture. And so it's it's a really fun way. Um, it's like honor and, honor and remember, yeah. Just, uh, try to get past the, the grief and the sadness and keep them close. Yeah, I love this one. I hadn't noticed this, but look at it in the sunlight. We'll see if I can look at this. Does this have a name? This is magnificent. The Wander Lust. You didn't just say that. Yes. I actually have a bombshell Betty cuff that says Wanderlust on it. It's a black that. one. I <laughs> the Wanderlust. Me too. And everything that they represent just. Look at all the little treasure dangling in here. Oh, Wanderlust. And that piece, that like central yes. piece yes. is oh, wowza. And look at this. Wow. Those were fun on Disco Night. Yes. <laughs> there are some Disco Night earrings for sure. Shorts. I mean, just so much. I'll just kind of pan through here. This was another one little assemblage that I had um actually maybe you want to mention the little piece you were talking about the one oh, the piece on the side there so too this one um they're produced in Spain in the 60s and 70s yeah. the style is called damasking and if you look closely underneath the little strings there's uh there's an inlay this really delicate carving um and kind wow. of filigree and they all every one of the the damasking pieces have that um so pretty look at this and just as a reminder 56 days to christmas another one oh with... look so pretty i love that and does this one you said it did have a name or a theme name the necklace did you have a name it, for it? It was just kind of a musically themed yeah. one. Um, yeah, my, it looks very lyrical. Violinist, and so <laughs> every every musical necklace I make, I think of. Yeah, her. really lyrical. And I was telling you, I had a few things like this. Actually, is this exactly? I actually had a little box that I used to have. A little, um, it was like a, um, gosh, what do you call it? A little kind of clear box that hinged and the top was on it and it actually had how pretty yeah the little kind of soft spongy um kind of cameo yes yeah there's another one over here oh i love this hang on look so pretty i love these so much and just the idea of taking these pieces that might be considered miscellaneous toss outs old um yes. you know i don't know just things that you might have in your uh bedroom drunk drawer sort of your ones just your one ups and yes. <laughs> or from your uh yeah from your little treasure box when you were a teen and just kind of taking them and turning them into jewelry is so fun my daughter loves making they're okay. dandelion wish necklaces okay so every summer i don't know if you can see the dandelion oh yes in it, yeah she and her brother go out and they pick dandelions we dry them and then we put them in little bottles oh how sweet um and, then and she she's how her, old again she's 11 oh and then she has her fairy dust yep definitely need a fairy dust necklace and now are any of these things online some of them are online okay it's best to look on facebook and instagram so okay they're all one of a kind it's sure right right they move down. quickly yes. yeah so d and the shows that do you do other shows do you have other shows upcoming yes. besides this um, if I they missed you here FR, okay which is being hosted in Fort Worth. okay so i will be at the stockyard from december 3rd to the 13th okay wow and we'll have some of these all kinds of christmas, christmas and holiday projects. look at these I love Christmas brooches. Have you seen Michelle Collins' Christmas brochure? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> it is a 
overall, I should say her Christmas brooch dresser, I yes. think it's more than a drawer. Yes. I love visiting all her, I don't know, collection of jewels. It just, you can't help but feel a little bit giddy. Well, let's just finish up here then too. And I just, these assemblage necklaces that you do, I think are just really fun. This one I love, especially for springtime with the, the mother of pearl buckles. Yes, yeah. Um, all jewelry really made by hand the floral oh Day. gosh yes the or even the roses oh gosh love them all here's something a little different we haven't seen yet fringe cuffs yeah um and i can really also fun. put a brooch or a pin on yeah. them. really fun and then these belt buckles belt are buckles. they yes. i hadn't even seen them yes Sparkly and kind of blingy. assemblage yes can find your favorite vintage leather belt and switch them out or even put it as a purse strap kind of some bling on your bag yeah I'm trying to think of what I could do I love brooches and the combinations look at the collections are really these are beautiful I love these so much oh gosh that came off of a cabinet that had the record player built into the top. So it had the front little drawers with the lion face. Yeah. So it looked like it needed to be mounted on a leather crest. So fun. Well, so much to see. And oh gosh, well, we're going to make one more stop at least. Tell me about these. These are uh, pocket watches. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of them are World War II, some a little bit earlier, some later. Some have beautiful engravings on the back sides. Um, I get them as non working watches. I would never. Sure. dismantle a working pocket sure. watch those are works of art in themselves um, but these were all um, broken in some way and so I take them apart I find tiny pieces and then make little time capsules out of them and there's always an original watch part you'll see some little gears and um, hammers and the face behind um, kind of an homage to the original working watch I love them and look at even this one so delightful the focal piece on that one was actually off of a doll's tea set. Good saucer. Really? Look. I love this. The whole, uh, just everything. Well, let's get some good light to, uh, we got all kinds of light. We're going to come in here a little bit. In the even the play tent that you've created here with the, yes. the ribbons and the scarves and yes. gotta love it. Well, Oh, let's pull you in here. <laughs> We're getting all kinds of interesting light here, but such a delight. <laughs> so yay, so glad you were able to spend some time getting Thank to know Natalie so and seeing her art, her artistry, her business, her resourcefulness, her heart in everything she does. And so pay her a visit. If you're still around, you might be able to still wander might through. Still wander Just, through. Yeah. <laughs> And um, certainly find her, we'll put the links and we'll look forward to see, seeing um, seeing her some more. So we'll sign off for now, I guess. Um, I, we really don't wanna say goodbye, but it's just bye for now. Okay, Shanna, shop glorious day. Bye for now. Bye for now.